They were abundant in the sandy habitats around the city, living on deer weed and other plants in the area. And we successfully eliminated 100% of their native habitat. So we were uh, looking at our collections here and we're able to use modern technology, ge genome sequencing, to go back and extract genomes from these extinct butterflies that are over 100, 150 years old. And we're able to compare them with modern populations of the blue butterflies all over the Bay Area. So we can look at those in the genomic side and say, what might be a good butterfly that we could bring back to the Presidio to repopulate what used to be the Xerxes habitat, but now will be a great habitat that has been beautifully restored by the Park Presidio available for the silvery blues that are coming from the surrounding areas. And I'm gonna just push it right in there. Oh, it's coming up, it wants to come up. And if it flies, it's fine. Maybe Look at that. that. Look at that. Woo! Yay, you did it. Yay! <laughs> so we found a thriving population that was totally capable of donating a few individuals to establish a new population. So this is a new beachhead for silvery blues and they're standing in the big shoes of Xerxes. So now we're thinking about, well, how can we do more? And Xerxes has one more lesson to tell us. By, by bringing back the silvery blue, it's, it really gives us kind of a big bounce. It's exciting. And it says, this is what we should be doing. So it's sort of directing us to be on point and, and do this job from now until we retire and beyond. And hey Chris, yeah. um, do you and Alora want to do the first ones on the other side? I think you can just leave it. Oh, just leave it? Okay.